I think that the law that we're going to uh, sign today is uh, very, very historic indeed. Uh, we understand how important it is to have community health workers that really serve as a bridge between our health care professionals, our doctors, our nurses, all our researchers, and the community at large. And it's important, all, all the research has shown, and we put together a task force to look at this issue that came up with this uh, law. And I do want to thank all of those who are involved in getting this law passed through the legislature. Robin Kelly, or Robin Gable, sorry, Robin is, where are you, Robin? Right over here. Sorry about that. But Robin Gable, uh, I think every time I saw her, would say community health worker. And uh, it's important to have an advocate, a zealous advocate like Robin, who understood that uh, this is indispensable for us to have health care that reaches everyone. Access is very, very important to make sure that everyone in the community knows what their opportunities are. And as we just heard from Karen, how important this is to deal with uh, ailments, whether it be breast cancer or dealing with asthma or diabetes or high blood pressure. Uh, many of these uh, particular challenges, health challenges, uh, we have to have people in the community working with folks from the community about taking their medications in a proper way and not forgetting, making sure they're aware of some of the things maybe in their house that could be causing problems, such as mold causing problems for uh, asthma or whatever the case might be. That's what community health workers are. They're on the front line and they're doing a, dr a great job. Uh, we want to make sure our whole state embraces this uh, vocation. And it is an important vocation. It's not a job. It's not even a career. It is a special mission to make people healthy. And I think that's really important. And we, we owe a debt of gratitude to our president, President Barack Obama, who was unwavering in saying when he became president, was elected, and took the oath of office, we're going to do something about making health care better in America. And uh, he has. The Affordable Care Act uh, is in our state, which we pass the laws, thanks to Robin. I know Chris Welch is here, Representative Welch, and Senator Jackie Collins. We had to, with uh, uh, the House and the Senate, pass a law making Illinois eligible for money from Washington under the Affordable Care Act. And uh, this began late last year. And so far, more than 600,000 people in Illinois, men and women, boys and girls, 600,000 people have received uh, health coverage under the Affordable Care Act. This is really a great achievement. And we're just getting started. That's part of what our community health workers are all about. They're going to help folks navigate through the system, learn about the system, answer questions. I was on a panel not too long ago with a big insurance company, and they said they had to add workers to their call center because some of the new folks who have just gotten health coverage, maybe for the first time in their whole life, well, they're not all familiar with some of the terms and the uh, language uh, of the uh, of policies and so on. And one person called up and said, what's a refill? What's a refill on a prescription? And isn't this important that people who maybe get that prescription to take care of their blood pressure so it doesn't go to 150 or higher, uh, that person is not going to have the kind of severe problems that can come from high blood pressure. So that's why we have to take the wonders of medicine in this great hospital, Holy Cross, an institution on the southwest side, right here Mount Sinai has been here for more, what, about 100 years or so, a century of service. And so many people work here, too. I want to make sure that we know that all the folks who work at our hospitals, they really are key employees for the whole state of Illinois. We want to be a healthy state. We want to have a wellness approach. This is what uh, the Affordable Care Act is about. That's what community health workers are all about. They're on the front line interacting with people from their community and sometimes the language uh, of uh, a particular person that may not understand English so well but understands uh, Spanish and telling them in, in language that they understand what they need to do to be healthy. I think this is a mission of a lifetime and not that long ago, 13 years ago, I was right near here, matter of fact I walked by here, uh, with my doctor Quentin Young, Dr. Quentin Young, and Dr. Young and his organization, Health and Medicine, uh, was involved in getting this law passed. But Dr. Young and I got on a bridge 
above the Mississippi River in Rock Island. It's called the Centennial Bridge. And we're right there at the state line. And we walked all the way to Chicago and Lake Michigan on behalf of decent health care for everybody. Everybody in and nobody left out. So really, this is what this mission is all about. The community health worker is a key person in the equation of reaching out and grabbing the community and making sure people know what the opportunities are and what good health can be. And so I really ex am excited about this uh, bill, which, which will become law today. This bill has been a long time coming. For years, uh, people at Mount Sinai, people at Health Connect One, Folks at Levio Medical Center have been training community health workers. Mm -hmm. And the community health workers, some could get jobs and some couldn't. They were not, they had kind of like an unofficial status. But they were critical to the, to the health of the community. I recently saw research that showed that the doulas, the community health workers who help women who are pregnant, have better outcomes for, their, for the, the clients, that they have fewer C-sections. Women know how to have babies. We don't all need C-sections. <laughs> they have an improved rate of breastfeeding. Breast milk is what babies should be drinking, not cow's milk. They're not calves, they're babies. <laughs> so the, the role that doulas and community health workers have played is so critically important. And this bill helps two groups of people. First, it helps the community health workers themselves. Mm -hmm. These are women from the community who have worked very hard. This, as, as the governor said, this is a vocation for them, not just a career, but it also should be a career. And they should be able to make money doing the work that they love. And this will be, give them an opportunity to do that. This will give them a certification process and a career path for them to better themselves, better their families, as they provide much needed services to the community. And the second group that will benefit so much from this is the community members themselves. Now, we all know that uh, medical lease is a language in and of itself, mm -hmm. that uh, a lot of people don't understand it. The example just given was refills. Mm -hmm. Who knew what refill meant? So the role of the community health worker is really to translate medical ease to the common person mm -hmm. so they can understand what, their, what the directions from their doctors were and uh, what they need to do to be as healthy as possible. You know, Governor, under your direction, um, the Department of Public Health led efforts to study the health care workforce issue and the needs across the state probably some 18 months ago or so. And this work, which, which was done in collaboration with um, other sister agencies and uh, external uh, policy experts such as Health Medicine Policy Research Group, resulted in a report that um, described what we know as a sobering reality. And that reality is that there is a real shortage of health care workforce in our state. There is a distribution problem. We know there's pockets across the state that don't have good access to qualified health workers. And most importantly, it documented the need for creative solutions to meet the demand of the growing number of health consumers that we've added as a result of Obamacare. So today's bill signing is really an important step towards ensuring that the supply really meets uh, the demand by formally recognizing not only the role, but also the value of community health workers. These are unsung heroes uh, that go by you know, any number of names, promotoras or doulas or uh, facilitators, but they basically link residents to uh, the services they need, they help to reduce disparities in doing so, and then ultimately, ultimately they support everyday people in their quest to live healthy and productive lives right in the context of their communities. Mm -hmm. We know that the arc of wellness bends really at the community level, not in the facility, in the hospital when you're sick, but what happens in the community really determines how healthy or how sick that, that communities are. So just in short, I want to say again that I am proud to be a part of an administration, proud to be a part of this larger team uh, that continues to find ways to expand resources, human resources and other resources to meet the needs of all Illinoisans. I want to thank the advocates behind me. I want to thank uh, Representative Gable, a tireless uh, champion of public health here and the other legislators. And again, Governor Quinn, I want to thank you. Okay, thank you.